Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it took a while, but skies finally clearing out. That autumn feel is already in place. The humidity is gone. The temperatures have dropped off, and we are setting up, up for a very cool night, especially late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Take a look outside down in Narragansett at the beach after a cloudy start, actually a cloudy, foggy start early this morning. Sunshine has taken over, and the dew points have dropped off quite a bit. The air is dry and refreshing. Grab a light jacket. It's in the mid-60s right now, but late at night, some spots down in the upper 40s to lower 50, so rather cool. Satellite photo locally shows the, the clearing skies. Northeast breeze, one reason why the clouds were locked in through the early afternoon hours, but most of New England now is clear and dry. Canadian high pressure, large and in charge, right here, dropping out of the Great Lakes. Kind of a big dome of cool, dry air. will be in control over the next really couple of days, so the weekend looking okay. The showers we had for Sunday still there, but it's more of a Sunday night and not Sunday day, so the daylight hours of Sunday uh, looks quiet. Anything but quiet in the tropics. Traditionally, this is, um, you know, the busiest part of the uh, hurricane season. Here's the East Coast and multiple systems that the Hurricane Center is watching. We'll draw our attention to these three. This is Renee, uh, Paulette, and a newly formed tropical depression near Florida. Maybe a problem here for Florida and the Gulf of Mexico next several days. But both these storms are tropical storms. Uh, Paulette winds of 65 and Renee with winds of um, uh, 40 miles per hour. And the uh, uh, Paulette anticipated to become a, a major hurricane or a Category 2 hurricane near Bermuda by Monday and Tuesday of next week, passing well away from the U.S. mainland, while Renee remains a tropical storm. So not a threat to the U.S. mainland. However, the swells uh, from uh, Paulette may be reaching our coastline by early next week. So the beaches may have increased surf and some increased swells offshore. We'll keep you updated. But the storm itself uh, stays well out at sea. And we'll also watch that to depression near Florida and what it means as far as possible concerns for the Gulf of Mexico again next couple of days. Our right, forecast overnight early tomorrow morning. Look at these low temps by around 5, 6 a.m. Lower 50s, a few spots maybe in the upper 40s. Sunshine gets to work. It's a gorgeous day, but it feels like autumn. Noontime at 70 and then by 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, lower 70s. A very comfortable day with deep blue skies. Here we are tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Clear to partly cloudy skies sets up for another cool night. So forecast for tomorrow morning, chilly start at around uh, 6 a.m., 53. 11 a.m., it's in the upper 60s, and beautiful tomorrow afternoon with daytime highs topping out in the uh, lower 70s. Beach is not bad. The air and water temperature are identical, uh, coming in at around 70. All right, seven-day forecast. Uh, Sunday stays dry during the daytime. A few showers Sunday night. Sun to increasing clouds, but overall not a bad day. 75. Warming up on Monday, then back to school. Uh, partly sunny skies and a high temperature near 80. So a decent weekend, but it feels more like autumn. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next.